Okay, you've hung out with us long enough that you know we're all about the target customers, right? Let's talk about how to exactly identify them, especially if they're already in your network, so stay tuned. So let's get to the nitty gritty on identifying target customers. I can't over exaggerate how important and vital and just like underline and circle everything I'm saying right now. This is so, so, so important for your business. Okay. Identifying your customers. You, there's four things you need to know. Number one, know their specs. Okay. This means know the specifics about their demographics. You know, you want to know how old they are, how young they are, whether or not they have a family, whether or not they've graduated from college. So you're going to actually write down all of these things. So if you want to pull out a piece of paper, do this right now. And I'm going to give you a list of things that you need to know about your customers. And you can find this information by doing surveys with your customers. And it's okay. You can do anonymous surveys. They don't need to attach their name to the information that they're sending in. But you need to know this about your existing client base. That's what I'm talking about. Everyone that you're doing business with currently, you want to kind of get a spread of how you're interacting with people and what kind of people are already in front of you. So write this down. You need to know their age. You need to know their gender. You need to know their geography, meaning what city they live in, even down to the zip code, if you can get that specific, you need to know their income and and a range is fine here. You can say their income is either, you know, zero to 15,000, 15 to 50, 50 to a hundred thousand, whatever increments are important to you know their income. You need to know their marital status. You need to know whether or not they have children in a home, especially if your business is one that's marketing to the youth. This is very, very, very important. Okay. Cause you're actually marketing to people who aren't doing the buying. So really you're marketing to the parents, but it, it's crazy. You got to know all these things. Okay. You need to know their education level, whether they graduated from college, whether they got some college in or whether they got a master's or a PhD, you need to know their behaviors as far as do they move around a lot? Are they, uh, you know, like a military family, that would be a family that moves around a lot. Is this an established family that's been in the home? You know, this is a great question to ask. How long have you lived in your home? What, how much is your home worth? All these specific questions. And if you're going to get really specific for your business, let's say you're doing real estate, you would ask questions specific of to how much of your, how much is your home worth? How many homes have you bought and sold in the last five years? What is your next move for moving into a property? How much can you spend on investing in your next property? So ask questions that are specific to your business and get their specs. So that's the first thing you need to know, know their specs, meaning know their specifics. Second thing you need to know, know your customers values. You know, maybe their values are not really super connected with what you're providing in business. Let's say that you provide air filters. Do you really need to know your customer's value system? Well, actually, yeah, you do. Whether or not your air filter has anything to do with their value system that can feel kind of disjointed, right? But if your customers value health, you might decide to design a better air filter that promotes health, or maybe you have an air filter that promotes health already, but your customers don't know it. So it may change your marketing approach. So write down what your customer values. Do they value health? Do they value mental health? Do they value physical health? Do they value the health of their children? Do they value general well-being? Do they value um, families? Do they value education? Do they value uh, nice, high-quality luxury items? Do they value fine art? What are their value systems? Because when you're designing and producing new products, you want to speak to that. You also want to speak to that when you're doing your marketing. So even get as specific. If you find that you're writing down some of these values, underline some keywords that will stick out to you that you can then use in your marketing. Number three, know their complaints. This is kind of the opposite of values, right? Know what is on their mind the most when they have complaints. You know, what are they complaining about? Are they claim complaining about not having enough time? Are they complaining about disorganization? Are they complaining about clutter? Are they complaining about relationships being sticky? Are they complaining about feeling tired all the time? Again, you're looking for key words here. What are some key words that your customers are constantly saying over and over and over again? Imagine, put yourself in your customer's shoes for a second and then go out with your friends. What does your customer tell their friends? Are they complaining about, oh, it just wastes my time or there's, I, my, my kids are, 
constantly throwing their socks all over the house and they don't have any way to organize them. You know, th those are good things to know when it comes to marketing and it comes to knowing your customers. Know their complaints because then you can speak to them with solutions that you provide. So number four, now we've got the first three, know their specs, know their values, know their complaints. Now it's time to know their needs, right? The need is kind of the middle ground between the complaint and the value. Knowing your customer's needs sounds like this. Your customer needs more time. They need a solution. Maybe their complaint is they're, they're running out of time all the time. And their needs, they need a solution to that. And that's where you come in as the entrepreneur, okay? Maybe they're complaining about how much time they're having to spend sorting laundry. Now that's a complaint but maybe they don't know exactly what they need and you do. So you have a laundry organizing system, right? So your customer needs the laundry organizing system because they value their time and they're complaining about not having enough of it. So they need your solution, which is this laundry organizer. And let's take another example. Maybe you are in the photography business and your customer values family and they're complaining about not having uh, building enough memories with their family. So then they have a need to build memories with their family because that's what they value. So as a photographer, you say, how can I address the needs of my customers in this manner? Well, in my marketing, I'm going to say, I help you build memories that last a, last a lifetime and document those memories so you can see them every day. Now I've spoken to the value of family. I've spoken the value to the complaint of they don't have enough memories or, or time to see those memories. And I've also offered a solution to their need. So when you take that approach, you've kind of got an A, B, and C. Once you've established the specs of your clients, you've got the A, B, and C of know their values, know their complaints, fulfill the need. Okay, so let's recap. We've got the top four things you need to know about identifying your target customers. Know their specs, know their values, know their complaints, and know their needs. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm excited to see you tomorrow. Hit the subscribe button and remember to ring the bell too so you can get some notifications from me. I'll see you then.